Rodgers and Hammerstein's glorious musical, Carousel, hurry, hurry over this way. the star-crossed story of a carnival barker and the woman he marries dates back to the mid-20th century. The dancing in this new Broadway revival was created by a young choreographer who has become a 21st century sensation. Thirty-year-old Justin Peck. So right now, you are kind of the it boy of dance. God. <laughs> <laughs> One story called you the hottest commodity in the dance world. Is it fun to be that guy? I think that's a lot of pressure <laughs> to, <laughs> to have on one person. Heck is a soloist with the renowned New York City Ballet. But it's the dances that he choreographs that have built the buzz. He's drawn attention for modern touches like partnering men with men instead of women. For ballets set to electronic music with dancers in sneakers. And he's even created innovative videos to promote new ballets and posted them on YouTube and other social media. I don't want ballet to feel like an elitist art form, which is what it is traditionally, you know. It was invented as entertainment for kings and queens and all that, and, and now I feel like there has to be an accessibility to it and a way for audiences to connect to the work. Peck discovered tap as a kid growing up outside San Diego. But by the time he was 13, he had turned to ballet, and in 18, he won a place at the New York City Ballet, where he soon began getting bigger roles. What does it feel like when you're dancing? Is it exhilarating? I've always felt that it's like one of the few moments where you're not conscious of anything in the past or anything in the future. It's like you're totally caught up in the present moment, and that's a really rare experience to have um, in life in general. In 2012, he began to work as a choreographer and was soon in demand by ballet companies in the U.S. and abroad. Not long ago, Justin Peck was the subject of a documentary. And he recently choreographed the dance sequences for the film Red Sparrow, in which Jennifer Lawrence plays a one-time ballerina. But Broadway beckoned, and Peck spent this past winter Hi. racing between his duties at the New York City Ballet... Yeah, good. That's it. Right. Yeah, here. ...and his work on Carousel. To help those dancers soar to new heights, he cast some of his cohorts from the ballet world. To climb aloft and be the very first to see a presentimus bounce come to the snout of a whale. Amar Ramasar plays the bad boy sailor Jigger Cragen, who leads the chorus in a rousing romp. In fact, even though it's Justin Peck's Broadway debut, he shares equal billing with multi-Tony Award-winning director Jack O'Brien. What do you think Justin brings to this? Genius. I mean, I gotta say, this has been such a joyous situation. This kid is bursting with talent. Somehow, Peck found the time to get engaged to Patricia Delgado, a fellow dancer. And he was just named to the interim management team, now running the New York City Ballet, 
after the departure of longtime ballet master Peter Martins in the wake of sexual harassment allegations. There's a lot of speculation that you might be asked to become the new director of the New York City Ballet. Is it a job that you would like to do? <laughs> um, I don't know. There's still a lot of creative work I want to do, both in New York City Ballet as a choreographer and outside in the theater world and beyond. So I got to think about it some more. <laughs> so it must be nice to see your name up there. Yeah, it's surreal. I think. In it's fact, surreal. these days it seems Justin Peck can do just about anything he wants. What's fun about being you right now? I was actually thinking about this the other day is my second home is basically a theater. Upper body back a little bit there. I'm either working in the theater on a project or I'm going to see something in the theater on my night off and it just feels like this, this comfort to me and this place where I can exist and that's really special.